Thanks for tuning in to 23 ABC News. I'm Veronica Morley, your senior reporter. This coming election, one of the most important races when it comes to control of the House of Representatives in 2025, is taking place right here in the Central Valley. The 22nd Congressional District covers Kern, Kings, and Tulare counties. Currently in the House, there are 220 Republicans and 212 Democrats with four vacancies left to fill on November 5th. The number for control of the chamber is 218. Now facing off for the seat are Representative David Valadeo, the incumbent, and former Assemblyman Rudy Salas. This is the second time these candidates have gone head-to-head -head for this seat. In 2022, Salas lost to Valadeo by only three percentage points. To get a better picture of what this rematch could look like, I sat down with both candidates and asked them about the issues that you, the voters, care most about. We begin our coverage with the incumbent and Republican candidate David Valadeo. In 2020, we came back and beat an incumbent in what we knew was going to be a tough year, presidential year, and we were successful. And then 2022, we held that streak and we're feeling pretty good. David Valadeo is seeking to hold on to his congressional seat once again. The Hanford native believes he'll win voters' trust by prioritizing Central Valley needs. Sadly, Governor Newsom is not the most helpful on a lot of fronts, and I would say energy is probably one of the big ones, water is another big one. On the topic of policies and workforce development, Valadeo tells me he wants to boost industries the Central Valley thrives on, like agriculture, oil, and energy. When it comes to, you know, representing your constituents in areas versus how Governor Newsom might make decisions or the policies that he's enacting, how do you feel you can best represent them? Some of the policies where he's been very detrimental on us is uh, water. And so we have the ability to try to reverse some of that by pushing policies. My bill that I've got, uh, the Water for California Act, is a piece of legislation that will implement the 2019 uh, biological opinions, re-up the WIN Act. For energy and oil, Valadeo believes the two industries can work in harmony in the Central Valley and thinks boosting these industries is part of the answer to addressing our unemployment rate. So obviously uh, oil production here in Kern County is a huge part of the economy and it brings in a lot of tax revenue to pay for roads and public safety and education. But the opportunity to put in solar or carbon capture or all the other technologies they're looking at um, are things that I've always been supportive of. What is it at the, the legislative level in Congress that you see yourself being able to do? What kind of policies do you see yourself being able to enact that constituents here in California can see that impact happening in their communities? Well, one like the appropriations bill. Working through the appropriations process, I've brought in about $100 million in investment here into the Valley. And uh, that's legislation dollars that have actually made are making an impact. You see like CAPK with their food bank, you see roads uh, being built up in Tulare County, the farm to market roads, you see well project right now in Delano, you see some projects like wastewater uh, treatment facilities. While Central Valley issues are at the top of his mind, Valadeo said he understands the complex issues Congress decides on, from the federal deficit to international affairs. Now the discretionary spending side of it, it's always around that 1.5 to 1.7 trillion dollar number and we're doing as best we can to get that to a manageable level, but Department of Defense continues to grow. And when you look at the Israel situation, the fact that this administration is holding them back and telling them not to react or to not respond, I think it's inappropriate. I think we've got to let the Israelis do what they feel is best. On immigration, Valadeo supports strong border security, stating current policies have allowed more criminal activity and offenders to cross the border. However, he also sees the value immigrants add to our nation's economy. The long-term immigration, obviously we want to address that. Um, we've got a backlog there. We've got people who have been waiting 10 and 15 years in line. And I think that's inappropriate. Uh, but we have to make sure that when we're encouraging that immigration, it has to be folks who are going to add to our economy and not detract. When it comes to health care, Valadeo said an increase in programs to bring more doctors to rural areas is first in his mind. And when asked about the health care issue of abortion, Valadeo doesn't see Congress doing too much. Even if it's a Republican-controlled Congress, um, both President Trump and I don't see Kamala Harris um, doing anything, uh, signing any sort of major abortion language. Now you can watch more of my interview with David Valadeo and his responses on our website, turn to 23.com. Stay tuned for Tuesday evening when I sit down with the challenger in this race, former Assemblyman Rudy Salas. For 23 ABC News, I'm Veronica Morley, your senior reporter.